one right here just totally caught me off guard. I feel like I see this crap, <laughs> junk, you know, what most people think about these things um, at the Goodwill bins all the time, and I just throw them to the side. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I am going to share with you big money bolos. I'm going to share with you bolos that you probably walk past, uh, just unexpected items that featured members have sold. I'm going to tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Uh, I think some of these items are going to surprise you. And these are items that we should be looking for when we're at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, all those places where you can source. Um, just, just amazing. And there's some clothing in here, some vintage clothing. So stay tuned for that. All right, let's get started. The first item comes from the Hippie Thrifter. And like I said, these are featured members. That means they have joined memberships to be a part of this video. Uh, level two gets you in the video. There is a join button down below. If you don't see it, there's also a link down in the description. So if that's something that interests you, you can feel free to join. If not, no pressure. Um, I'm happy you're here watching and learning with me. And again, links to all of the eBay stores and the YouTube channels are linked down in the description. Please consider following by hitting the save seller if they have an eBay store and subscribing to the channels. Okay, the first item. I'm guessing a lot of you know about this one. Scrubbing bubbles is definitely a bolo. Right here it is. This is new old stock and you can find these at estate, estate sales like tucked them underneath in the linen closet or underneath the sink, different places like that. So definitely be on the lookout. This came from the Goodwill though, $4.99, sold it for $49.99 plus shipping auction on eBay. This Chicago Bulls uh, beach chair, it's like a fold up canvas chair. Got this at a thrift store for $10. Took a best offer of $99 plus shipping. This one here is a vintage, I don't know how to say this, A-L, I'm sorry, L-A, oh my goodness, let's try this again. I can't, not only can I not say it, I can't spell it. L-A-L-I-Q-U-E. Lacquer, 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 is it lacquer? I don't know because I don't see an R and I'm hearing an R when I say it. But anyway, it's a vase. It's a frosted naked nude lady vase. And I don't see any nude lady. So you guys are all probably pausing and zooming in like I am right now. Okay, I might see it. I might see it. But it's not too bad. It's more um, art glass, pretty fancy, nothing, you know, too naughty about it or I wouldn't be showing it. Anyway, this art glass was a personal item that she had, and she sold this for a best offer of $450 plus shipping. Sorry, guys. Oh, goodness. Not a good start. All right, I'm gonna try to get on track here. Dawn's One Stop and Shop. Here is another eBay store that you gotta check out. Lots of great items. Uh, I see lots of Christmas ornaments, so if you're looking for a special Christmas ornament to, uh, uh, pass on as a family tradition. I know somebody just bought some, uh, it was actually a viewer bought some pins off of me and they said they're trying to buy used items, some used items as gifts. And she was going to pin the little brooches onto their stockings, which I thought was a really fantastic item. If you're watching, thank you so much for your purchase. I appreciate you. Okay. So this knife is a Shapley hardware folding pocket knife diamond edge and it's celluloid somebody asked me how to know if something is celluloid i have no idea if anybody knows how to tell if something is celluloid please put it in the comments i do have a video that tells you how to test for bakelite but celluloid i'm just not sure the only time i use the word celluloid in my listing is if i have done extensive research pulled up my listing um when looking for comps and all of them say celluloid, then I would use it in my title. But otherwise, I have no idea how to know. This knife came from a yard sale. We paid $5 for it. Took a best offer of $67 plus shipping. Kodak Film. 
Um, this is expired film from 2004. So some expired things. So just make sure that you note it in the listing. Um, some expired things are not allowed to be sold on eBay. So make sure you're doing your research. Um, I know that film and ink are okay. Makeup, um, from what I understand, is not okay. Uh, some people say that it is. I think it depends on what it is. So uh, definitely vitamins and products that you in ingest are definitely not allowed if they are expired. So be careful with that because eBay will get you. And I do have videos that talk about uh, policy violations and bureau items, items that have been removed from eBay. And my Facebook members share those. And I have a whole series. And those are super educational. And you guys are probably going to watch those and be removing some of your items from eBay. So check those out. Throw them on while you list. Um, very important information and current re relevant items that are currently being pulled. So this Kodak film came from an estate sale. He paid $2 for it and sold it for $40.50 plus shipping. This is a Wrangler cologne. Um, it's a cologne spray. And he it's new with the box. He got this at an estate sale for $5 and sold it for $25 plus shipping. And Toy Attic recently did a video. Apparently... Um, I know that you used to write O-R-M slash D on the box, and that was supposed to be good enough for um, shipping perfume and cologne. However, I guess the post office has changed it. She got three packages back, and she has to repay the postage because they are missing this certain symbol. And in her video, she... Um, down in the description, she gives you a document that you can print off what you need so that you guys don't get these items returned back to you. I don't know if it's just certain post offices that are buckling down. Um, has anybody else had their item returned because it didn't have the proper uh, label on it? Please let me know down in the comments, but go check out that video by Toy Attic. Um, I, I didn't know about it. So I am going to print that off and have it handy for when I sell uh, perfume. All right. Let's go on to the next one here. Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle. She is a bolo finder. And one thing that she sells a lot of is vintage Tupperware. And she says, why are you selling it so cheap? And she's going to tell you how she sells vintage Tupperware and she gets great prices for that stuff. So go check out her channel for lots of Bolo content. She sold this monkey business Fitz and Floyd Figural toothbrush holder from 1977. She got this at an estate sale for $2 and sold it for $99.99. There was also a listing I had pulled up for vintage gum. Um, you sell that under collectibles. People collect vintage candy, uh, nostalgia, uh, discontinued stuff. They just collect it and the listing expired. So I'm not able to show that one to you, but um, check out her store for others. She's done it with Tic Tac gum, just really, really cool items. This Santa Claus is a vintage Howard Gale. And it's funny because I was doing a live listing and I had one of these and she helped me research it. So when she saw this, she knew it was a bolo. She got this at a thrift store for two bucks and sold it for a best offer of 120 plus shipping. Vintage Booth Pro. Um, she has booths. So you know how you go into like the little flea market areas and they have booths. In On her channel, she is talking about her booths. So if you want to learn more about that, definitely check her out. She also sells on eBay and um, she definitely has great stuff. But booths. I mean, there's definitely money that can be made in those booths. I've thought about it, but I'm like, I just have no more hours in the day to do anything else. And I'm not really good at like setting things up and doing displays and stuff like that. So check out her channel. She's got some great stuff here. On eBay, she sold this vintage uh, barometer and she got this for free off Facebook Marketplace. Took a best offer of $50 plus shipping. The next item is this Creations Original Adjustable Base Lap Frame for Needlecraft, two scroll set. This came from the Goodwill um, and she sold it for a best offer of $28 plus shipping. I'm not sure what she paid for it. I apologize. These are six Mississippi State football ticket stubs. And she said, 
that these were in the pocket of a jacket that she found. They sold the same day for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. Be carried away. We need a video, Carrie. Carrie is fantastic at uh, keywords description. She is a bolo finder. She um, is taking a break and just enjoying life. And hopefully she will be back soon. So make sure you subscribe to her channel. Um, what did she sell? She sells a lot of vintage clothing. And again, she has really, really good keywords. So definitely check out her store and um, see what she uses. Uh, it talks about like different styles and stuff that I know nothing about. So you'll definitely learn a lot. This blazer she picked up at a Salvation Army for $5.99. She sold that on Poshmark for $160. She sold this uh, Geiger Tyrol Austria boiled wool skirt. It's vintage. Uh, she sold that for $116 on Poshmark. And she got it at the Salvation Army for $4.99. And she also sold another one that went for, I think, $100 also. This here is a wool sweater, and this is what it looks like. It's, you know, a vintage sweater. <laughs> I wouldn't wear it, but somebody loves it. It's got colorful birds on it. It's folk art. Uh, she sold this for $101 on eBay and picked it up at the Salvation Army for $4.99. Three Ducks Resale, another awesome eBay store. Again, links are down below, and we are going to see what she sold. She sold these helmets. They are Rydell pocket football helmets. I don't know if these are the ones that came out of like the uh, gumball machine type things or not. But anyway, she got these at the Goodwill for $4.99 and she sold them for $60 plus shipping. The next item are these Pier One flameless white glitter tree ta uh, tapered candles. Uh, so they're fakies. I don't know. Would you have picked them up or would you have walked right past them? Let me know in the comments. She got these at the Goodwill for $3.75. And I'm sorry, I don't know. She didn't tell me what best offer she took, but she did take an offer. But something, you know, unexpected that you might pass by. Radio Shack radio controlled clock thermometer automatic. 63-1438 is the um, item number. Always put that item number in the title. That's going to help you sell your item. Goodwill, $3.75. Uh, sold on auction for 45 plus shipping. The next item comes from Ray Nathan RZ09. Awesome eBay store. She's the one that sells all the Monster High dolls from her daughter. And she does a great job with it. But she's also been picking up some Ray Dunn. So we're going to talk about that. Not all Ray Dunn goes for big money, but some of it can do pretty well. This one right here is a Ray Dunn by Magenta. Farmline Farm. It's the Moo Cow. Uh, let me see if I can. Here's the back. It's got the M on it. Hmm, let me see. There we go. So I think this is an older model. Let me know if I'm wrong. Uh, $3 at a thrift store she got for that. And she got this one for $3 at a thrift store. And it's the chicken. It's the cluck. The cluck chicken does not go as much as the moo cow. This one only sold for $55 plus shipping, but still a big return. Great investment. Uh, return on her money. Wizarding World of Harry Potter talking hat animated Halloween. And she said she just wanted it gone because this sucker was big. Um, she sold this for $28 on Mercari and she got it at a thrift store for $3 and 99 cents and the buyer paid shipping. The next item here is this Annalie trick or treat cow mouse and bag Halloween. Annalie has been, you know, it's, it's a solid seller. Some of them are long tail. Some of them are big money. Some of them are bread butter, but they do sell and they are so easy to identify once you know what they look like. The painted face, I mean, that's just what her stuff looks like. $2.99. Uh, it was a lot uh, for $2.99 at a thrift store. So she's got about 60 cents in this and sold it for $60 plus shipping. The next item comes from Noni's Treasure House and this is her eBay store. I am just confused why this is not sold. These little bears, the minis that have the sweatshirts, like they're a major bolo. Maybe the trick or treat don't go for as much. Huh. Let's see if that's still available. It is. Huh. I'm going to have to search solds on that. 
If you guys don't know, the little bears with the sweaters on like this, they go for big money. Maybe it depends on what the sweater says. Um, but I thought all of the ones with the little sweaters did well. But apparently, I'm guessing if this was a big money bolo, it would have like flown out of her store. So interesting. All right. Vintage Ralph Lauren ruffled queen bed skirt. Rose floral. Uh, Goodwill. Or no, I'm sorry, garage sale, $2 in a linen lot. Sold it for $39.99 plus shipping. She also has this York designer leaf silhouette wallpaper, gold metallic. She has three available. She has sold one and it sold for, she got it at the Goodwill for six. Well, I'm confused here. It says that it sold for $149.97. So maybe she sold multiples. I'm not sure. I might have been reading that one wrong. So anyway, $62.99 each. The next item is this vintage uh, set Crown Trafari Butterfly Silver Tone Rhinestone Brooch. Estate sale $5 and sold this for $89.99. This is the back here. Uh, she's using a caliper. This is what I do also. These are a really cheap and expensive tool that you can buy on eBay. And it is great for measuring. Um, I do use inches. She's got millimeters here. Um, you just hit this little uh, green button and it will convert it over to inches. So uh, that's what I use just because I feel like that's what most people are going to be looking for. But I could be wrong. All right. So great sale there. I Candy Vintage, another really cool store. I'm going to scroll here and then we're going to get into her bolo items. We have this Capa de Monte vintage pair of table lamps. And she got these for $20 at an auction and sold it for $120 plus shipping. This here is a Pottery Barn Mary Silver, Silver Tone Sculptured Reindeer Stag Twig Deer Cabin Decor. She got this at a thrift store for seven and took a best offer of 65 plus shipping. These little Pez, Bubble Men Pez, you know, most Pez are going to be bread and butter, but some of them can be really, really big money. These guys are pretty cute. Uh, she got these at a rummage sale for $2, took a best offer of 17 plus shipping. So really good return on her money there. A rural squirrel, Kristen. She is a bolo finder, but she digs her bolos out of the Goodwill bins. And when I tell you she finds some amazing stuff, she finds incredible stuff. She does a lot of challenges over on her channel. So you'll get to meet a lot of channels and they go in and they duke it out in the bins. So check her out. Uh, she found these um, A-S-O-L-O, -O, a solo. I'm not sure if it's spelled out or if you uh, say the word. But anyway, they're boots. She got them for a buck fifty at the bins and sold them for $84.14 plus shipping. She is in Colorado. So she did say that finding items such as these are easier to find in her area. This is an olive army green canvas utility kilt cargo pockets, adjustable leather straps, skirt. And she forgot the word skirt, skirt in her title, but I guess it's a kilt. So um, that probably covered it. $1.50 at the bins took a best offer of $50 plus shipping. This right here is a vintage Griswold cast iron skillet lid. It is just the lid, you guys. She got this out of the Goodwill bins for $1.29 and sold this for $50 plus shipping. Awesome Burger, this is her eBay store. Ooh, we got some uh, fashion buttons there. That's cool. Lots of variety here. And definitely check her out down below. And let's see what we got. This one right here just totally caught me off guard. I feel like I see this crap, <laughs> junk, you know, what most people think about these things um, at the Goodwill bins all the time. And I just throw them to the side. If I see these again, I'm going to pick them up. Oh, my goodness. They're the little beads that you put on these things. And I think you like iron them or put them in the mi or microwave, not microwave, oven. I'm, maybe you iron them. I can't remember. I feel like I did these when I was a kid, but $55.49. I mean, yeah, she had free shipping on it, but come on. Who would have passed this up? Let me know in the comments if you would have passed by this item. Okay. And she got that at the Goodwill bins. 
Uh, this came from her personal collection. It's a 1958 U.S. Mint proof set, complete sealed half dollar quarter dime nickel and penny. Sold for best offer of 50 with free shipping. The next item is this vintage air mattress. And this also came from the Goodwill Bins. So that is by weight. And she sold this for $67.85 with free shipping. And the last one here is this with an H on my dog tag. It is an autographed uh, book. And you can see right here. So that's going to make it worth more money. She got this also out of the Goodwill bins and took a best offer of $50 with free shipping. All right, you guys, which one was your favorite? Which one was the most unexpected? What? I mean, are, you, you got to give me a what in the comments if you think that that one that I showed you that I was like, hmm, the little crafter's item was a little different. Would you have expected it? So give me a what in the comments. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. If you want to join memberships, awesome. If you don't, no worries. Thanks for being here and watching. I hope you learned something. Um, if you don't see the join button, there is a link in the description. Level two gets you in these videos. And thanks for watching. See you at the next one.